Late Night Health continues with our regular contributor, Robert Clancy, the author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Soul. I'm Mark Allen, and today we're going to talk about honesty. Are we talking about honesty like Honest Abe and George Washington, Robert? Uh, in a way, yes. Uh, I have uh, uh, you know, an inspirational thought around honesty. And if you're not honest with yourself, how can you expect others to trust you? The truth can only grow in a fertile garden of the heart. Be loving, be accepting, and be truthful. And the first order of business is sometimes we're not honest with ourselves. You know, we, we like to sort of sugarcoat things that are going on in our lives or not really address those issues and make it into something else that it shouldn't be. And you need to really confront that in order for that truth and those things to come forward. And the other is when you speak the truth, sometimes people can't accept the openness that you have. So there's there's a two side, you know, uh, to the street there as far as how you approach honesty in your life, or at least how I try to. And it's a struggle. I can't say it's an easy road, but it's, it's one that I think that we should take. What about blame? You're not blaming others, but blaming yourself. A lot of people can't do that. They they don't accept the ramifications of an action. Well, I have a really good thought about that, and I was talking about it actually this past weekend to uh, to a colleague. And you know, the the thing is when um, everything that happens to us in some way is our own fault. Now, if you walked out in the street and got hit by a car, yeah, the driver was probably at fault, but you also placed yourself in the street. <laughs> got it. So everything that happens to you, and if you approach life like that, it's a lot easier because there is no real blame because you are at fault 100% of the time. You're in control of your body, your mind, and your spirit, and that's just uh, how you, you know, you're the driver. But there are there are people who won't accept blame. Um they, they make a bad business deal, they lose money, and it's his fault or her fault, not my fault. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen that. And I, I look at it that, you know, if you lose that contract, it could be your fault, but sometimes it's not the right fit, too. So you got to look at things from the other side. And, yeah, and you do have to take on that blame, but you don't want it to be in a way that it destroys yourself. It's that you can accept it learn from it. I think the learning part, Mark, is really where it comes in. You need to learn from those mistakes. So what happens, of course, is that in in looking at honesty, being honest, being um, truthful to yourself really counts. I mean, you have to say, hey, you know, I screwed that up, and maybe next time I won't. Uh, or maybe the universe is saying, no, that's not a right fit for you? That's what you just said, too? Yeah, it could be. Exactly. It's just that there's something else that's in alignment, and that just wasn't right. And I find, you know, nine times out of ten, most of the time, that something better comes in place of that, and I look at it that way. How can somebody uh, uh, learn to be honest with themselves? I mean, it's 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 really difficult, as you said, to accept blame or to accept the consequences of of your own actions it's much easier to say well you know daryl messed up rather than i messed up yeah right it, it's it's the easier road to take but your inner strength comes from that and it's how you build yourself is looking at those things that make you who you are and part of that is accepting those the blame sometimes or some of those consequences that happen from your actions. And, yeah, you might hurt somebody in some way because you did something that you weren't even intending. And going back and accepting that and taking that back away from them is a way that you can grow and be a bigger person. Well, I mean, people on the street every day ask you, how's it going? And probably only 10% of them really want to know. Yeah, and that's that's the other part, though, is, is looking at, uh, you know, if you're going to ask that question, be willing to listen to the answer. Absolutely. It, it's true. Well, I've, I think I've, we, when we talked about smiles uh, a few weeks ago, I told you about a friend of mine who doesn't smile, and I made him go to the mall to smile, and people responded to him. They engaged because of that smile. And I think that you need to listen 
as part of that engagement. It's the secret to communication is listening. Well, uh, Robert, thank you very much uh, for joining us today and talking to us about being honest, primarily with ourselves. Robert Clancy, the uh, author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Soul. Robert will return next week. And uh, and thank you for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Join us at LateNightHealth.com. So have a great week, everybody. Most importantly, have a healthy week. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.